Hey there, so in this short video, we're gonna look at how to integrate your Peter Distinction to uh, any website, really, that allows any custom code to be added in. So a really, really simple process. All you need to do is head over to account in the top corner and head down to my website. Now, when it comes to your website integrations, you need to have a pro or above subscription inside Peter Distinction for this to work. Once you get into the website integration area, you're gonna to head to embed code and you'll find a code inside here that you can add to your website. Now, depending on the website you use will depend on what process happens next. I'm gonna use Wix as an example here for this particular video. I'm gonna point out a number of steps you can look for in whatever website builder you use in order to allow you to do this. But the process is very, very similar. Uh, but again, it will vary slightly from builder to builder. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to our website. So once you've got your website open, what you need to do is create a login page on your site. So again, depending on how you actually um, build your website and what website builder you use, will depend on the process you go through here. So what I'm gonna do is go and add in a page here on my Wix site by clicking add page. And I'm gonna go and add in a blank page. And this is what I recommend you do as well uh, with your particular setup and call it client login. So ideally you want to have its own standalone page that's gonna have a header, and a footer and nothing else that's actually on there. Now you also wanna make sure as well, this is a full width page. So it allows you to have the full width of the actual site. Sometimes with the likes of WordPress, you may have a menu down the side for your blog. I'd make sure you remove that. So make sure you select a template or an option that has the full width available and no menus down the side. Now, in this case here, the theme I've actually got has a colored background in here. I'm gonna recommend that you switch this to a white background, only because it will look better when you do the integration. You don't have to do this, but I just personally think it does look better. So what I'm gonna do here is change this into a white background, just like so. Now, the next thing we need to do is add in our module that allows us to uh, put the code into the website. So again, depending on the builder you use will depend on what this process will look like. So generally speaking, there should be something on your builder that is called add. And what you're gonna look for is probably something that's called embed. And when you get onto there, or if you're using Wix, it will definitely be embed. This is what you're looking for, this symbol here. Now this is kind of a, a generic symbol for code or custom code. Now, depending on your website build again, will depend on what this is called. It may be just called custom, it may be called code, it may be called HTML, maybe called JS, it may be called raw. It could be a number of different things, but the chances are it's probably gonna have this logo here or this image here. So click on that and it will add it in. Now, the majority of website builders will actually add it in as a block and it'll be in a fixed area that you can then add the code to. Wix is a little bit different to some other builders where you actually have the flexibility to change the size and adapt the block and put it into any position you want to, which is one of the reasons I've used Wix because this is unlike other builders. So inside here, I'm gonna go and make this nice and wide and take up the whole page. So I'm actually gonna go a little bit wider than the margins here, pull this across here and make this nice and wide all the way down. Now again, you'll only really have to do this on Wix. On a lot of our builders, so for example, if you're using WordPress, the actual modules will adjust the size automatically based on the code, so you won't have to do this. But I'm demonstrating this Wix because your builder may be Wix, or you may have a similar builder that has the ability to move modules around like this. So once you've added in your module, just click Enter Code. And we're gonna place our code from PTD into this box. So again, this will be slightly different from uh, builder to builder that you use. But I'm just gonna highlight that and copy that. Head over to here. I'm gonna go and paste it in this box here just like so. Once you've done that, click update, and that will update inside here. So once that's done, you should see something that looks a little bit like this with a login area at the top. And down here, it should say, download our mobile app today and have these two images on the side. Now, if you do this and it looks like this, make this smaller, where you have the text here and these two boxes at the bottom, it means your integration is too small. It's not gonna look like you see it inside the demonstrations. You're gonna get something like a list view that appears when clients log in. It's important that you do make this as wide as possible. This is why that full width is such an important aspect of this process. So as you can see here, when I make this a little bit wider, that changes and that's what you're looking for. It's this layout that you're looking for once you've got it in there. Now at the moment, of course, we have this color in here, which is the PT Distinction colors. It doesn't match our color up here. So we wanna make sure our colors match. So we're gonna head back over to PT Distinction and the next thing we're gonna to go to is our custom code. And over here, you can see we have our different colors. You can choose the colors here from the list, or you can put in your own color codes, if you like, into here for light color and dark color. So the light color is what's gonna appear here on the button. The dark color is just gonna be the accents once you've actually logged in, but all your buttons will be 
this light color that you see here. We then have the advanced settings down the bottom where you can see here that it includes the links to the apps in the footer. And you can see that down here, these links to the bottom. If you want to include those in, you want to make sure that this box is checked and you hit save changes. If you don't want to include them, you can uncheck the box and hit save changes. And then these will actually disappear from the bottom of the integration. So there's one more step we need to do. Back up here in the embed code, you can see we have a link down here for your portal for your website. It's really important that you add the URL for the actual page that your web, your client portal is on your website. So down here, what you'd normally do in this situation is you publish your page. Once you've published it, you'll be able to go to the client login on your website. So if we go and view that. You can click on client login here. And it will take you through to your website. And the URL that you want to actually add in is this one up here at the top. So you want to take that. You want to then go and paste that into this box here and hit save. It's really, really important that you do do that. Otherwise, your premium packages and the links inside your welcome emails will not take you to the right page. So to quickly recap again, you're going to add this to your website, starting on the embed code and place this code here into a full width page on your website using the custom code module. Once you've done that, you can change the colors to match your website and the advanced settings you can decide to link up the app or not. It's also really important that once you publish your page, you take the URL for that page, put it into here and click save so everything connects up together. Once you've done that, your website is set up and ready to go with PT Distinction.